the kind of focus of this is going to be like not spending thousands of dollars on a bunch of different expensive servers and heating up your, your house. It's going to be about being cheap because that's how I do it. Right? Yeah, I'm okay with that. I like to see. Um, also, I made a cool website this week. So if you're interested, it has like one blog post on it. It's very empty. Yeah, one. So if you're interested in that, we're going to talk about like using different things to manage your virtual assistant. So why would you sell this? I uh, could get your service about it for money. Lose your data, like Google, what, like six months ago, a year, and lost like six months of data from the users and we'll do it on it. So, you uh, And also, the client is like, it's just passing out. So, you know, Means that you'll always be able to put on your lights, even if there's an outlet through Amazon. And of course, privacy, uh, which goes on kind of plan for all of it. I go up on the online stuff, and my setup involves $1 a month for you, $5 a month for you, a couple of raspberry eyes, which run my own system on my Bible. And then, like my my phone, you know, the auto I'm up on charge a bunch of little random services like sync thing, or get all the on the phone and sync it. So like, I still just play it. Right. Uh, so yeah, that's so my my window is searching by different people. They come online with VPN in my home network, and they're not, not necessarily well over the other And I'm using WireGuard. So something like zero to you or like that's going to work for me. I like going with it. Uh, yeah. I need to I go and I go there, so that way I have like two layers of information there. So that's all about that. Um, so like you can do that. And it's fun. 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 It's Series, so it was a list of the we talked about. And then the secret of our mentions, which I'll get to at the end. Uh, so the first thing I want to talk about, this slide that I did, is home assistant, right? So home assistant. Next time in the class, essentially. And uh, not only does that give you a lot of overview of the all the different devices you have on the network, but it allows them to be able to operate and communicate you know, you React to each other state. So, like, I don't have a lot of computer, but I can do some home assist home automation stuff that you really want to do. Can't remove the people, or you have to, when I turn on the TV in my bedroom, my lights turn off and stuff like that. So, that's not exactly right. The point is, like, I can do quite a lot of things. No, my toothbrush is really organizable. My toothbrush has, but I want that application. And that actually has an integration system. So I had my toothbrush turned on my bedroom. Well, my last post, my time to live outside my bedroom. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, as soon as I start requiring the internet connection, it's a dumb device that requires an internet connection to do anything. Uh, so the home system allows you to have all that stuff in for and it kind of truly makes the actual stuff. So uh, the system has a lot of integrations with a lot of different devices. Uh, and actually I'll go through this here in a second. Um uh, so, 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 so
It's really pricey, like 200 bucks, but it's really good. It actually has an option in the menu that says that they're all yeah, they're able to uh, And then now I haven't touched it. I've had it for two months. I haven't touched it. So, uh, and I did not, but I just moved into my place. We'll come and try to get a mutual appointment for it. But, like, it was great. I didn't really buy the heat pump, so I installed it correctly. You know, it got like 90 degrees on my house. <laughs> but I fixed that, so it's always cool. It's kind of cool. So, I don't know. So, probably that shop in the heat. Some guy that just started building the little ESP32 like has another flat devices uh, that you can buy for each week. Um they kind of about saying smartphones and like 20% of them are kind of a few men, so that what you will, but they're all really good as other devices. So so he sells like uh, smart light bulbs and smart switches and humidity you know, and stuff like that. Uh, it actually has some work in the home stuff, but I've never actually used it. Um, but those are pretty well, I just kind of really need that stuff because I never really have a hardware. Um, yeah, you can be uh, like at least if you buy, but you want to pop it at top, but you don't want to see it. Or you can just buy USB 32 which are really cheap. Probably won't have hundreds of costs, but it'll be cheap. Yeah, you can find a little cheaper than that. Five day fives, and that's what I want. I'm going to have a Raspberry Pi 4, which is going to have a double system, and I have a Raspberry Pi 3, which is going to have a Pi which I'm going to talk about in a second. Not so much Pi Hole, but I don't want to be one step in the middle of the video. This is some of the device that I have set up. The living room, everything's here are different brands, which also have their own collection of devices. I uh, so like a so just keep that in mind, but like, uh, here's like a lot of things that you can here in that. And they're actually using automatically. In fact, you can also time you will have to this. We'll just give you a notification. Uh, well, it does, uh, all of these are changing as well. But like, and Just 
Uh, but they talked about what they had to do with the balance and what they were interested in. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, that's actually what I do. Like, like, that's what I'm saying. You know, my virtual machine is running my memory. You can use my local band. Uh, and they don't, uh, and, and it's not that they're all. Uh, my work, obviously, a physical uh, I do think all of my personal devices, including my laptop right now, which I was able to tell you all this stuff, is deep in my whole network. So, that's not stuff. I actually have two networks. I live on things that I don't trust, like my light edge and my thermostat. Um, that don't have internet, that I like that thing, that have an internet connection. Yeah, it doesn't have an internet connection, it's like still active. I'm just talking about specifically technical details. Uh, some other time, I would love to say that kind of talk about it. Um, yeah, I think also because of the um, I used to travel a lot for work, and so now, but like, I was going to go out and I was going to go out and you know, I've done a lot of work on devices, but it kind of got cumbersome to like connect every one of those to the Wi Fi network by hand. So I actually bought this kind of little GI GIL, GIL that travel router that I had a CES a few years ago. And they use tiny interfaces like this. Uh, which they actually don't sell this one anymore, they have no ones. But you can sell this one, you can talk with. And all that we can do is the same Wi Fi network on my phone. So I use this all the time. Um, it's really nice because I just plug it in, I set it up, and then all of it. That, uh, all has a connected. So, yeah, the first is that the first thing that the thing is that the first thing Devices that don't have a uh, 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 So, like, uh, I used to my own I didn't have a web browser on it, so I didn't to the uh, But now I can see that. Platforms, 
So, for example, I talked to someone, I, I actually use Deeper and not be very slow. Um, and I use Deeper and not be very slow. I use Deeper for uh, signals um, that they're like, uh, and then my own host I mentioned, so this is one of my virtual tools. Um, I bridge the telegram. But the people in these uh, platforms can even tell when I'm not using Google or Telegram. I just have all of what happened before. Uh, but eventually, I would like to uh, uh, So, Matrix, the server is also better with other Matrix servers, so they can pass back to each other. Um, which is really interesting. You can also set it up and by default, it comes like this to not put it So I will need to say, I think it's also a little bit of 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 a little uh, yeah, Matrix is a little bit of a very good stuff. It's cool to do with some video and screen sharing and all that stuff. So, it's always Matrix. Uh, so, I think that is I run it on my phone. Uh, they ironically, you know, they always put the same thing with the devices. Uh, but it is nice. Like, I've run a lot of Android models for the years. Like, I've been flashing Android models since like 2012, whenever they were even a thing. They didn't probably see it yet. Um, yeah, so I think that's really polished. And it's polished because the one of the engineers in there, like, obviously, like, wicked smart. Like, they put a whole bunch of security engineers and all that stuff. Um, but also, it is a big target device. Like I said, it's just one of the system and it doesn't have any access. So you run it as a normal user and you can revoke questions from it and stuff like that. Or so I didn't have Google services on my main like Profile, I had it in the work profile, so it was only turned on and running when I wanted it to. Uh, but since I recently got a new car with uh, Android Auto, I decided to you know, move it over so I don't have to like turn on the work profile and have a little drive. Uh, but like if it works for you, um, without like if it for me, I just need to upload and stuff, you can do that. Um, uh, I don't show that right now, but I don't. Um, yeah, I'm just saying the auto. They just use 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 um, if you're here, you probably, you probably like something like this because it's a very minimal tool, it has a Unix philosophy, right? Um, so it has the main interface, which is cost, and that kind of just utilizes things like GPT and GIG and the file system uh, to store things. So, and because it's so, you know, uh, it's a small just files. I, I start doing like PDFs and stuff in there, or I'll just show you whether that is a new thing it happens in. Uh, but you can store anything you want. Um, I've stored gift card numbers and account IDs. Uh, and there's even like an Android client. Uh, um, and yeah, this organizes real time. And then it's not as fancy as something like about to show you, or I don't have a picture, but uh, that way we're doing this. But it's working well, and I think it's like a and I don't think I'm ever going to switch. Yeah. Uh, 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 
so uh, so I think they log me in for just a and then they have a open app and stuff like that. And do not uh, like big part of like last pass where it has everybody passwords in their is that unless you're like a state actor, nobody's really going to target you, right? So, yes, have some level of security. Um, obviously, like, you don't want that just to drive by hack. But, like, because when you're hosting it yourself, especially when it's all within your own network, you're a lot uh, less of a target. And also, you have the convenience of the G Cloud providers. So, we'll consider the effort to do that. And then, some of the hacks, last batch, which happens like monthly, which will Silly for what it does. Um, so there's an alternative uh, called Vault Wiki, which is as far as I know, but rather like a I think some of the of the person, but if you want to host it yourself, you can host it. Uh, and then you're just paying for what you host it um, you do you have to do The vault is probably better to talk to if you want to go for like a cheap $5 no um, I really haven't measured it. That's just kind of the volume part of it. I don't have any measurements. I can't say that. Yeah, I really don't know, but that's what party, and also the free and lust, the love lust, which is really cool. But that's kind of what the target, that's the whole point of the world, is to be like the author. Uh, I was talking to somebody about what the last author did, is uh, what is this kind of author? Mm -hmm. They still require as an email address to log in, which is written. I don't know if it's a good I don't know if it's a good thing. I don't know I mean, I tried, but I didn't pass it off. So, uh, but it's, uh, a lot of people don't like it. So, That's why I didn't understand. Um, like, I don't know. But yeah, I was going to just say you need a new method of like those new things. So I think uh, you may even have to do that for my presentation. Um, and also name my website in there, and I think I was just going to play there and turn them into a presentation. And uh, so I am so hopefully what I have to use the tool uh, that is most fun. So uh, I find you that tool with fun, so I turned that tool. Um, but there's a lot of things so I get to think of. Uh, yeah, 
Uh, well, yeah, I would recommend this first time I find it really fun, I guess. Uh, but there's also other things like Obsidian and Goblin, uh, which are also really nice. I've used them um, at work. I've used them for a matter of co-work. He's tying up a piece of paper out what he likes and stuff. Yeah. They offer too. So I know Obsidian and Goblin uh, offer the notes on plain text for it. And plain text for that is the essence of some first thing, right? Uh, or at least some sort of open book. Yeah, we can read it. So, John Gage Yeah, you can take the little I'll talk about it in a second. Um, but yeah, sending the job on a tool with many more. Um, I think I want to talk about those uh, that they used. Uh, but yeah, these are really good. Anything else besides the three years of I'm curious about them. Uh, yeah, the film up. Yeah, the film up. Yeah, the film up. Yeah, the film up. Yeah, So, if I answer this, uh, I use the film up. I don't have all the camera. The insect is coming. Uh, it's really good. I don't know if it's a single entry. Uh, it's a double entry accounting system, so you have a debit and a credit system. This is just an example. Uh, there, uh, we're going to have to do a little bit more in a second. Um, yeah, complex accounting is also something that's in the book. It's also H ledger, which is the ledger working in Haskell. Uh, and it has a lot more features, even like a web interface and a little two interface and stuff like that. Um, Actually, I have been so I've been I have been so I have been so I have been Using plain text accounting is really, really cool um, because I don't know if you've ever used something like QuickBooks, but if you make an error, you have to go back and try to fix that error. And it's, it's really annoying and obnoxious when it can break things. Um, but with the plain text, this is a state essentially. The state is the text file itself. So if you need to make a correction, uh, and you it's like this simple track you know, when I was out, it's going to be the same. So I have one of those in the account that I track. Um, and, you know, every time I had to take it to funds, so like every time I see them sell or go buy shares, I just kind of make the account for that commodity. That would be a lot of powerful things. Um, and it's all over the text. Like, Anything really fast. Like, if you go to the website, they talk about they have 80 year history. It's hard to show it's not 80 years old, but um, they have a gold data. Uh, it's really fast. Um, they have like 80 years history, and it was sort of basically just a team calculating your results. And every time you run a ledger command, you can see a little bit of the calculations. Yeah. Also, eight so here, like, and also more of it. So, like, uh, so like, three of the examples. Uh, the two of the little. Uh, uh, I don't really need because you don't have to use the next. There's also a really nice command line tool which will for you. But the cool thing about using something like this uh, is you can go like the Alex. Move that over. Then every time you update it, I would add, I would like add an intro. I'm like, go through the expenses to go through. And then there's auto completion, but because I have a pattern that will tell the person how to. And then, 
you know, saying, for example, saying that we think about it, right? This is a very simple example. But it's very simple way to go the path to balance out the zero. You can balance out the zero and you can hear it. So that forces you to make sure you're back. Yeah, this is the simple way to do it. Is that we'll see, oh, no, it doesn't yeah. like it, right? It doesn't equal zero. So, like, if I make an error, I'm just like, oh, it's not six, right? Not change from 15 and less. Same. Sorry, I'm a big fan of paying for stuff, so then do this, right? Um, but I just put in my cheap winnings, which will hurt for a bunch of different services. So uh, that way, like my laptop, my phone, my phone, my phone, my phone is still synced somewhere. Right? And it's awesome. Um, so I need to use I talked about a couple of years ago, so I talked about my skill deck and how I played two of the Google Analytics and like that. But I like switched from my desktop to the Steam Deck, and I used Steam Deck to synchronize my Steam files on there, and it worked really well. It was really cool. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Keep up on it. Yeah, something for you. Is this part of it? I just do a picture of this. Um, so, uh, so uh, it looks like it's just kind of like food deck. Uh, it doesn't look to the self hosted category, but it is very hackable in nature. And you can use it for a lot of different things, including like a set top box. So, um, which will have a stable by each of the uh, but now I just play my food deck, and now I can plug right into the hotel room. I can get Netflix, I can get YouTube, I can get video games. All that stuff. So the switch will just get both computers. Oh, yes, I think we can make it. I kind of believe it shows lots of other stuff, so I can do that. Um, so I'm kind of a I'm kind of a lot of when it comes to the eye stuff, just not in it. Uh, so like, yeah, I, maybe I should have put a slide into that actually. Um, so there's stuff called. So this guy provides if you're a developer like um, and you run something like a profile, uh, this does that, so it's hosted, so you can run it on your own computer. Um, yeah, we're going to. This is a So they moved from release 2.0, but they accidentally forgot to do toxicity training or something. So I downloaded that. Yeah. <laughs> so I have that one uh, before they yanked before they it. Um, I don't know why it's not on the list. It's on Huggy and Face. So. I was really concerned that I was like, 
Perhaps with the companies who have access to these OOMs, but they kind of been not a lot of people would make them somehow better. Uh, but this is one of those where it's just for Uh, one stream shows that page for this first. I I love this thing, by the way, but they offer the Kagi. Really nice because it's not only really the incentives of the user, the incentives of the advertisers. Also, when you search for something, you get like fifty six results, not eight bill. So if if you can't find something, but like the, the results are really general, right? Like they're good. Um, so plug, plug for these guys. They're really cool. They just really became profitable, so that's nice. Um, but anyway, the reason I do remind you of that is they have, for, if you have a paid subscription, you have like a, a fast GPT thing. Um, I used it a couple of ways. I actually think one of the easy ways work, but I tried it. I didn't like it. But like, I did summarize it in the chat platform. This is just like chat GPT. Um, I had a better so, you know, that's something you can use and play on the package. Uh, the CAG is really cool. They're a little pricey, though. They're going to be two for five bucks a month to make out of the cultures. I'm the head of the third year, they hit like a couple of them. So I think they're going to be able to help them. They have a lot of really cool features. So, uh, they're not going to be able to do that. So, they're going to be able to do that. So, for example, Oh yeah, so you can see things that I block or I can move. Uh, oh yeah, so these are actually what I was looking for. So any search results, um, and these are actually the top of the list. I just like the top. Uh, the first one we're we'll doing is the AMP. Uh, we're we'll doing the AMP stuff to the actual website. The second one is the bus stops, um, which is all over. <laughs> So I used to have this one was not actually this the default one when we were doing it with a full type of it back then. We use a copy and paste on that. So there are certain goals in there that are running to the bottom and we're going to be moving. And that's what we'll talk to here. And I'm looking forward to it. But like the first one's work. And like I get that on my phone, I get that on my laptop, and you tell me different things. Uh it's really good. And we also have like Lindsay's, which we can like turn on them to like search the question about the history of the thing. Um, like I use a program in the hospital. Um, so I was to talk about this one. This is the same time in the middle of the day. So I don't have that, you know, to do this. I think it's going to be better. Right. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, I, I used to be able to work. Um, actually, you know, don't the fingers, but I was doing no good. I found it the most difficult to be uh, uh, people. Okay. Like, yeah, this is. Um, Mag, okay, that's what we're doing. Thank you. Uh, no, I found a different way to do it because I have like two layers of abstraction for that. And I think the details is going to have to use. But like you had to like create a virtual device on a virtual device and make them do things and it was really wrong. Well. And maybe that was just my lack of understanding. Probably, I think. Um, but like, yeah, I also now I use Proxmox at work because we have just this, we only use Proxmox for like our. CI stuff to put in, so it's not really that serious. CI is very easy to build itself, and we're kind of just in research for the product to use for no care. Yeah. And it hasn't ever broken, so it's not. Um, but it works great for that because we don't need the enterprise level features, right? We just need a hypervisor that runs a couple of games. Um, and then I would also like to use Proxmark. Like, oh, it also runs in CFS, so it does the file system, but it does a block level snapshot. Oh uh, yeah, well, that sounds good. That's actually one we're trying to spell up that work as well. Um, and even like the general government is trying to switch to 
but it does like contact storage and it does chat too, like post chat, has a bunch of different plugins. So, like, complicated. Like, I don't think they're going to be like a thing. But so they always break. And you always need somebody to fix it. Um, so, that's why I was talking about like the Matrix thing. Okay, so like, I, I, I am going to leave that name, which is my last name. And that's where I want people to like log in with their first name at last name dot family and that stuff and like have a uh, with the third uh, Matrix chat. Uh, yeah, you can do that. Um, I don't. I do use that stuff apparently. I'm not going to go But like that also. I use Fawcett on um, So, yeah, that's the introduction to it. Um, is that it's not just the total thing, which is a W3 uh, standard and all that stuff. And Activity Pub allows integration with anything else that's for Activity Pub. So, some people have integrated their like website blog post to after all, so the blog show up kind of like critical features, right? Which is really interesting. Also, um, there's the podcast, there's the podcast. Um, there's like a podcast uh, application as well that supports activity from, well, if you're a podcaster, your episodes show up as a critical feature. Yeah. 
found since uh, uh, the cow on Mastodon. Not so much that they don't want to see that, it's that they don't want to see 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 that they don't want to that they don't want to see 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 that I wouldn't recommend it, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> The other one the um, which is a really nice uh, web interface that has done, and it, it has a uh, a nice feature where like for time frames. Yeah, so this is like a technique. So, like, somebody can use another show up in their feed as another user. So, people that are following the feed can see this back. So, if they're not on a feed, so they're short to the period, instead of stacking them directly within the class, you stack them horizontally, they can kind of skip all the things that you don't do. But it's just really nice interface. So, anyway, the point for that is, is that. Method on itself doesn't have some sort of algorithm, um, but the client can then come in with a different you know. Um, so you get a logical. So I check mine like once a day, and I just kind of like look to see what it is for specific people that I am really interested in. So this is like news for uh, software like a little bit. That, that, that was actually going to be the next question. It was my understanding that it just came to the Yeah, so um, I think if you try to keep that right there, so the problem is yeah. Uh, like if they download it and you have to make sure they upload it, well then they don't re upload it later. <laughs>
Yeah. Earlier when I tried to log in my Google, it asked for my security key. That's my unique key. I normally have it on my key code, but it's not here. Uh, for some reason, I tried to use it, but. That's the best, of course. Yeah. Driving that, how many banks? Uh, and it's uh, because none of the encrypting, the subjacking of the thing, and all the problems with it. And yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, the ongoing things are, um, with that, it's put on Chicago Passwell, it's really cool. Uh, I love that, so hold on, I'm playing. Uh, so Passwell is really cool. If you have a really great, they have a lot of event features. Anyway, I'm not quite sure. I learned a day, but I need to stop. So, like, you know how with Google you do plus address thing where you put like double plus with the edge? I do have a subdomain level because it's harder to box the strip out and never put out. Because it's a strip of data, it's a lot of So, like, uh, I did that, I do that with everything. Like, I'll have the company name, dot my domain, dot com, or whatever. Um, and that gives them a unique address, and I know who they are, and I can block it, do whatever I want with it. Anyway, I do that with the bank. I put the bank's name, dot my domain, and they actually. Like, rocks me out of everything. I think that, uh, like, I was trying to get gas, and I contacted him and I was like, what the heck? And I called them, and they were like, oh, yeah, we don't like to be known. So, I thought I was trying to, like, do, uh, like, social engineering or something, like, it was malicious. And, like, this is the, I've done this with hundreds of companies, and this is the best. Like, even, I have, like, two of the banks, and uh, they're the only ones I can. All right, we'll do that. So, uh, I mentioned Ledger here, and I actually haven't kept up with it the last month. And the reason is because of it. 
So I, I would actually really like to look at this Except for one massive problem with it, that ever since that site changed, my running balance like fluctuates, and I don't know why. So every time I I try to balance my ledger, ever since I it like doesn't balance, and I have this entry in there for mysterious, and like a week later it'll fix itself. I just lose the state of place. But like it gets so difficult to track my schedule. <laughs> Yeah, because I, I couldn't figure it out because they don't show thirty kills now, which is just they always show them. But like I would look at the amount that Litton Alex and I would look at the last thirty days of transaction and I could not find like if there was a missing transaction because that balance that difference did not match the transaction. So, so I know it was there. Yeah. This is a recent thing, like, because ever since they redid their website, I don't know how they went to them. Um, but yeah. You can say it's okay. I only use the and I would just say, like, it's my old kind of part of me. I got a rubber. I would love to, but um, <laughs> Yeah. Uh, we do some pretty pretty at work, but I don't. Um, yeah, I remember hearing about the maintainer and she's like, was having trouble.
So it's like, I remember, I don't think California had a friend who was an intern at SpaceX, and he gave us a tour. And one of the things he worked on, like, one of the things he showed us was the Tesla had our SpaceX tiles came incredibly useful. It was like a legit intensive house. Yes, maybe.